Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm up a little bit early this morning doing a couple of things in the studio before I get started with a rather busy day. I got a lot going on today, but I wanted to finish the shot that I'm doing in here and I'm talking about e-commerce photography. Got a simple shot, tennis shoe on white background. I know it's not the most exciting photography that, you know, we're all hoping to do those exciting shots and e-commerce is kind of plain and simple and, you know, it's, it's not the sexy stuff. But for a lot of companies, it's the bread and butter of their website. Obviously, they've got to display their products, they've got to show their products, and they've got to show them, even if it's in a simple way, they want to show them so that the customer can see what they're ordering. And, you know, it's just very important. So since e-commerce shots are not the most exciting shots, I think it's a great temptation for a lot of designers and photographers to cut some corners and just say, that's good enough. Just, you know, it's just a simple shot on white, so just take it, let's get it done. But we need to do our jobs correctly. We can still produce good light, we can put some dimension to our products, even though the background is just simple and white. It doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be good photography. So I'm gonna show you guys how I set things up. I'm gonna show you the lighting that I use, what I'm doing to position the lights in order to get some good shape and dimension to the product. Yeah. Might be simple, but we can still do our jobs correctly. So here's my set. It is fairly simple, but let's let's start with the uh, background. What I've got here is just a, I believe it's 18 by 24 inch gator board. Obviously it's a white surface. It's got a little bit of a texture to it and it's somewhat reflective. Not reflective in the sense that I can see a mirror image of the shoe, but it's reflective that it's got kind of a shine to it. and. I'll tell you why that's important here in just a second. Um, on the background, I've just got a white seamless. From the viewpoint of the camera, you can see the surface that the shoe's sitting on, but then in the background is fully covered by the paper. Now, why the reflective surface of the board is important is when the lights go off and light up my background, they're gonna reflect in the surface here on the table, helping make it even wider. So trying to get to a perfect white is very important here. I've got three lights on the set. The first one is in a small soft box. I love this box. Um, it's a little wonky on these days. I don't know if you can really kind of see how it's kind of misshaped, but the reason is because one of the rods in there is uh, had broke and I put a new one in and it wasn't the perfect one. But this uh, kind of shallow softbox, it's soft light, but it's got some snap to it. I really love this softbox. So softbox in the first light, and then I've got two lights on the background. This one's got a diffusion material over the front, but their only real job is to light up the background and make it white. Now this one, however, I'll turn the modeling lamp on. It is actually spilling over and hitting my shoe. And let me show you why that's important. So the two lights combined make the background white. Turn the modeling light off this on this soft box. But if you see what's happening, well, it's kind of hard to see. You can see some highlights that are happening on the edge of the shoe, and of course, all down the front of the shoe. That's all coming off that light right there. That's creating some dimension to my shoe. Now the ratio between the highlights and the shadow is not very great. You don't want these things to be really shadowy because it's an e-commerce shot. We want to show detail in our product. But still putting a little bit of a highlight there and kind of in these areas with that backlight gives my shoe some shape and dimension. And then the last thing I've got here, I've got a little mirror that's putting just a little bit of light in here a little fill fill light with a mirror and that's pretty much it there's the image through the camera manual focus of course I do everything in manual focus when I do product work I don't want the focus jumping around between shots which it might possibly do and you think you're in focus and the next time you're really not I'm at f16 
shot looks something like that. But you can see the highlights that are kind of given some uh, dimension to the shoe from that backlight. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope that helped. I hope it answered a couple of questions. If you've got more questions, certainly leave them in the comments. If you've got comments, leave those as well. I always appreciate hearing from you guys, but I hope that helped a little bit in terms of doing some basic product e-commerce type product photography. That's how I do it. This particular shot for me is not being done for a client. I am doing it as a promotional piece for myself because I'm going to end up you know, doing some kind of little advertising promo piece. I'm gonna send it out to a bunch of people who potentially could hire photographers for e-commerce type work, whether it's a company or a marketing firm, or yeah, I'm just gonna send it out to a bunch of people that I think might potentially have work for myself. And yeah, you know, that's what you gotta do. You gotta market yourself. Half the game is marketing yourself, not just being a good photographer, right? So that's what this is all about for me today. Like I said, if you got questions, leave them in the comment section. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you very soon in another video. In fact, we've got a shoot this afternoon that we're going to be recording. So lots going on here. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your summer. Stay cool. And I'll see you guys next time.